How different is Florida today versus back in the days when the mob? Because the mob had a lot of uh, yeah. things they did in Florida. This was a hub. I mean, Meyer Lansky on, was doing stuff here back in the days. This was great to go to Cuba before you know things were shut down with the hotel when Lansky was running. How how much of a change is Florida today versus what it was back in the days? I mean, there's still guys living down here that I know of, but uh, it was a big spot for us. I mean, when we went anywhere, we'd come to Florida. That was it. Yeah. And I had a big you know gas operation down here. I loved it down here. But uh, different today. I mean, everything's different today, Patrick. I mean, it's not the same influence, the same presence anywhere in the country, really. Even in New York. You know, there was a time when, I'm not kidding, every single day you pick up the New York Post, the New York Daily News, there was a mob story. Now, I read the New York Post every morning online. Maybe every six months you'll see something, mm. uh, you know. And it's, Why is that? You know, th- things have changed. I mean, you know, the, the, the old guard is gone. The mm-hmm. new guys are, you know, staying undercover. It's not the same as it was before in any way, shape, or form. You know, look, you got to give the credit to Giuliani and, uh, you know, that whole force back in the mid-'80s, early to mid-'80s, when he really started effectively using the Racketeering Act and put everybody away and changed everything. Took the union control away, did, did so much damage to that life, which is, I guess, good for everybody else, but it was bad for the life. And really. so this is back in the days when, when you were doing 8 to $12 million a week. How much of it was here? How much of it was New York? We, uh, well, I got indicted down here. We were, I, think, I think it was like $190 million that uh, they indicted us for down there. We had a big operation down here. I was trying to move most of what we had up there down here. To Florida? Yes. When you say down here, what part of Florida? All over? It was or? Broward Dade. Yeah. Okay, I got it. South Broward Dade, yes. Yeah, I, I just re- want to revisit something that you said, because I don't want to gloss over this. You said... You got to give respect to Rudy Giuliani for what he did. So, uh, do you respect Rudy? Is that what you're saying? Well, I didn't back then. You know, he, t- <laughs> he told me he was going to give me right. 100 years when he indicted me, but uh, I do now. Yeah. What changed? Yeah. Obviously, just age, wisdom? Uh, no, listen, you know, he was good at what he did. He was better at what he did than we were at what we did at the time. So, wow. he got us. You know, there's no doubt about it. He used it. Look, my case, I don't believe I should have been involved in that case, but he didn't frame me. There was some semblance of something that he could have indicted me on. He did. But I was, I was acquitted, so I beat it, and it was legitimately acquitted. But, uh, look, you got to give him credit. I mean, he was a good prosecutor. He knew what he was doing, and uh, I think he, he firmly believed that what he was doing was the right thing. So you can't mm-hmm. get mad at somebody like that. Well, how, do you, how do you process that? I mean, this is his biggest competitor, you know. You well, deal no. with competitors. I mean, what, you said you talked to competitors. What does Peyton Manning say about Brady? Oh, yeah. What are you going to say? I mean, the guy is better than you. You know how hard it is for Manning to be able to swallow yeah. it and say, hey, this guy, you know, yesterday a quote came out about uh, what Brady said back in 2012. Mm-hmm. And a guy asked the question, says, man, how's it going to feel when you pass up Montana? He says, I'm not going after Montana. I'm going after Jordan. Mm-hmm. So think about meaning. I don't yeah. care about winning five. Mm-hmm. I care about winning seven. Right. Because seven is one more than Michael Bennett. So there's, and he did it. And he right. did it. And so, and by the way, it's tougher to win seven rings in yeah. the NFL than it is to win six in the NBA because in the NBA – you get seven games. Yeah. So, meaning you can have a bad day and lose to Eli Manning twice. Right. Mm-hmm. It ain't going right. to happen in the NBA. You're not going to have four great games. Right. You, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? So, but anyways, going you back to it. You had a great quote about uh, Manning and Brady and the Hall of Fame induction Oh, speech. yeah, yeah. Well, that was, uh, well, Tom Manning, Manning's pretty, yeah. uh, pretty funny, obviously. Everybody knows Manning. And uh, they, would have, they had the matchups where they were in the AFC Championship five years in a row. And one, one of the pregames, you know, Manning, Gave the uh, response. We're like, what's it like when you go up against Brady? He's like, well, you know, I don't really go up against Tom Brady. I go up against the defense, and that's, uh, you know, so I don't think of it as me competing against Tom Brady. I got to beat the defense. You don't play safety. And they asked Brady the same thing. He's like, yeah, I want to kick Manning's ass. Absolutely. I see every pass he makes, and I need to make. I need if he's if he goes seventeen for nineteen, I'm going eighteen for nineteen. And that's that's, the, that's, that's that, the, that was, the difference in mentality. That was deflection on Manning's. Oh, for he was sure. Against Brady. Oh, because sure. man, by the way, Manning is super competitive. Even yeah. from Tennessee, when he came out, the guys. Uh, People forget how good I think Peyton Manning was. Like, like, yeah. There, he, two, I think it was 2004. He threw 490 passes and had 49 touchdowns. One out of every 10 passes he threw went for a touchdown. The dude yeah, was unreal. He's, he's great, no doubt. He's uh, now is he connected to the mob? Is that where we're going with Manning? That? Yeah. That's yeah. Kind if of there's the, anyone that's there's, not connected to the mob, it's there, hey, white only, bread, whole hearted one Peyton way. Man. Eli Manning beats uh, <laughs> beats uh, old Tommy so touchdown. You, so if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.